Welcome to the warm-up for the Kevin Calabro Show on 710 ESPN Seattle. Jim Moore looking very haggard today, thank you very much, with Steve Sandmeyer. We have got a lot to get to. What should we get to first today? I think we should talk about whether women should be allowed as members at Augusta. What do you think, sure. Steve? Sure, I think they should be allowed. I think uh, that uh, the gal in question, I called her gal, of course, awesome. Wasn't that great? I think that gal should be allowed to golf. I threw him a curveball. I threw him a I sound like we're not talking about that today. I sound like we're not talk about it. Casey's not here. I'm that right. little I'm lass needs show. to be allowed to We are not to talking golf. about IBM and whether she should be in. Everybody knows she should be in, so we're not talking about that. We're talking about the arena situation. Forget cables. Switch to Frontier. The Fios Triple Play brings dedicated 100% fiber optics to your home. Fios TV, 15 by 5 internet and digital phone for $119.99 per month with two-year price protection plan on qualifying service. Frontier Pacific, NW.com. Chris Hansen stepped up today, basically said, hey, listen, those traffic issues are valid that the Mariners have. He addressed them. He said he would pay for a study to look into this. So mm -hmm. we're, we're good to go, aren't we? Well, on paper, yes, but we got to wait until everything comes to fruition. This whole deal still, in my opinion, revolves around timing. They aren't going to put a shovel in the ground until they get both an NHL and an NBA team, and that is still going to be the biggest obstacle. I think for here and for now, Jim, though, yes, traffic issues are a concern, but I, I just none of it is going to matter until they secure these teams. Getting to that point is going to be key and the fact that now on top of the 290 million dollars that Hansen is going to invest of his own money that he's going to plunk down another 10 million uh, in order to find a resolution to these issues speaks to his level of commitment. Th this guy has done everything short of picking up the remaining 200 million on the tab himself which you know I wouldn't put him past it. Don't get excited about that but that's what kind of commitment this guy has. Okay, fine. You have some traffic concerns. We need to get a study done. We need to go through the process and do the due diligence. Here's $10 million more of my money that will help alleviate the concerns, hopefully, of the other people involved in this. Positive steps in the last 24 hours with the Arena Review Panel last night coming out saying go ahead with the plan. They like it. Understanding that there's still some unanswered questions about the financing and the traffic. And then today, the press conference with Mayor Mike McGinn and Chris Hansen talking about these issues and how they're going to address them, that he's going to pay with his own money. So everything looks promising on that front. Meanwhile, Sacramento, not so promising. I just, uh, I'm torn on that whole situation because as much as I want it to crumble and, and the Kings to leave town, I still feel like they're going to Anaheim before they come to Seattle, and we talked about this yesterday. So there's a lot of concerns there in Sacramento as far as, now they have ownership, they've got people down there, the Maloofs, who don't want to put forth the three million dollars for the pre-development cost for the arena, and so they're sitting there in limbo. A lot of distrust going on down there. Well, Kevin Johnson uh, pretty much uh, drew the line in the sand earlier this week when he said that they were disingenuous. It's a pretty strong word to use to describe a business partner of yours or what he felt was a business partner of his and the rest of the city of Sacramento. Uh, the move to LA or Anaheim in this case is going to have obstacles as well. Let's not make any mistake here. The market in Anaheim is far more attractive based on a lot more TV money. However, the NBA doesn't want to lose a market in Sacramento and not necessarily add a market. And if you move a team down to Anaheim, you're not really adding a market. It's still under that Southern California blanket. So we'll see how that may or may not play out. Of course, first things first, we're going to see if the Kings, uh, the Maloofs, the NBA all get together in New York. I think they're going to do that next week. And if they can kiss and make up, that's obviously a moot point. But uh, let's put it this way. If you are somebody out there that wants to see this thing crumble, you're probably rubbing your hands together pretty excited based on the strife that now exists between the Maloofs and Kevin Johnson. That's what I'm doing right now. Friction. Strife. Yeah. Sorry, Sacramento, but we want your team.